Hello everybody, welcome to Cal Oaks. I'm your host this episode, RIP. And for this episode, I wanna to talk to you guys about light coverage. I wanna to talk to you guys about the intensity of the light and the distance of the light and how far you should be from your plants before your light becomes ineffective. All right, so let's dive into it. All right, you guys, so let's dive into this, right? So there's actually a physics law describes what it is, and the physics law is called inverse square law. And I'm gonna read to you guys the definition. So it says the inverse square law describes the intensity of light at different distances from a light source. Every light source is different, but the intensity changes in the same way. The intensity of light is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. This means as the distance from a light source increases, is the intensity of light is equal to a value multiplied by one divided by the distance squared. All right, so let's put this into growth terms, right? So say, so say you have a square, so the square is gonna represent one square foot. It's gonna represent a one by one area, right? And the yellow is gonna represent the light intensity, right? So say we have one square that's 100% that's 100% yellow, right? That means that our light intensity is 100% on that one square. Now, if we want to if we want to light up a 2 by 2 area, that means that you will take 2 by 2 which will equal 4 square feet. So that means that you'll take that one square and you divide it into four pieces. So that means that each square now is now receiving 25%. So let's say um Let's give you another example. Say you have a thousand watt light bulb. You, you're, lighting up, you're lighting up a four square foot area. So that means that each area will be receiving 250 watts, right? I don't wanna use lumens or lux because each device is, calculates lumens and lux differently. I mean, it's all calculated the same, but each device actually outputs lumens and lux differently per wattage. So we'll do wattage and you guys can calculate the lumens and lux. That means that each square will be receiving 250 watts. So say we was gonna do a three by three area and you guys pretty much get the drift, that would be nine square feet, which would be 11.1%. So you can get how that calculation will actually work. So I'll be giving you guys another Say example. It's producing 10 watts, watts, right? So right now it's producing 10 watts, but it's focusing that 10 watts into a smaller area. So when I bring my plant, when I bring my light further, that still 10 watts is actually spread out, and you can see that the light is not as bright as what it was when it was Let super close. Let me tell you guys how I apply how I apply the light intensity and the distance into my grow setup. I like to use. 16 square feet for every thousand watts in my grow setup. I typically allow my plants a four square foot area per plant. So for every thousand watts I'm growing, I'm using no more than four four plants. Now sometimes there's situations where I would use more than four plants, but that all depends on the type of lighting, the cross lighting, if I'm using tracking at that time. It all depends on what kind of plant I'm growing. I will get a trellis and I will sign each branch their own quadrant. So each branch may have two parts of the trellis or three parts of the trellis. It all depends on how much is stretching, how elongated the plants are, um, how big the branches are. And for branches that are growing a little too quickly or too rapidly, what I like to do is I super crop. And that's typically how I do it, but everybody does it differently. But let me know, let me know in the comments how you guys do yours. All right, thank you guys. If you guys find this video helpful and useful, please hit the like button and subscribe.